Hey guys, Mitch here from Cinema Suite. We get a lot of questions about our product, Cinema MoCap, so we figured we'd put together this little FAQ video, answering a bunch of them at once. Here we go. Does Cinema MoCap support Connect 2? It sure does. Just plug in your Connect V2, just like the old Connect. It will work just as easily, and it'll actually give you much more lifelike results. We got lots of new rotation data and stuff, and it actually seems to do a much better job of keeping track of, uh, of things. So it definitely does seem like there's a noticeable improvement in the quality of the motion capture. Just make sure you have Windows 8.1 and a USB 3.0 port as those are both required to use the Connect 2. My original Connect doesn't have a standard USB plug. What gives? So the Connect sensor actually requires a bit more power than a standard USB port can provide. That's why uh, on the newer Xbox 360s, they actually have a dedicated port just for the Kinect that provides that extra power. On older Xbox 360s, as well as when you're using your Kinect with a PC, like with Cinema MoCap, you need to get this little power adapter that uh, just adds extra power to the Kinect, basically. And uh, they're really cheap. You can get them on Amazon for like nine or 10 bucks or something. I'll link it in the description. Does Cinema MoCap support Connect for Xbox One? You bet it does, because just like the first generation Connect, the Xbox 360 version and the Connect for Windows version are actually the exact same piece of hardware, just branded a little differently. Um, yeah, they did the exact same thing again. The PC Connect and the Xbox Connect are the exact same thing. You just need uh, an adapter for the Xbox Connect, actually, again. But this time it's a little bit more expensive. You can't get it on Amazon. You gotta order it off Microsoft's website and it's about 60 or 70 bucks. But I will link that too if you want to use your Xbox One Connect with, uh, with Cinema MoCap. Will Cinema MoCap ever support the PlayStation Eye? No, we are sticking to depth sensors only for now. Will Cinema MoCap support depth sensors other than the Kinect, like the ones made by Asus or PrimeSense? We were actually planning this at one point, but it's not looking so likely right now. Reason being, OpenNI, which was kind of the one-stop shop open source SDK for all this depth sensor stuff, actually uh, closed shop not too long ago. So we would have to go through each sensor's SDK separately and implement them all one by one, which is a lot of work and it doesn't really much sense to put all of our effort there, especially considering the connects are so readily available and they work so awesome. It just doesn't make much sense. Are you guys working on a facial capture solution? Facial motion capture is something that we've talked about doing for as long as I've been at Cinema Suite. And I think it's a really good logical next step, um, facial capture, you know, to achieve our overall vision of creating a cinematic production package for Unity. Facial movement is kind of a essential thing to that. Anyway, it's definitely something we're interested in pursuing, and there might just be some news in uh, the coming months, so stay tuned. What about hand finger support? Yeah, finger hand capture is something we've talked about implementing as well. Um, even the Kinect V2, with its improved fidelity over the first Kinect, still isn't accurate enough to track 10 fingers and the whole body all at once. Uh, so there isn't going to be an all at once sort of solution. We are looking into maybe doing like a hand pass or something, maybe, but it's not high up there on our list of priorities. I would picture, I could picture facial capture coming a lot uh, sooner than a hand capture tool. Does the live model preview feature work on custom characters? No, for live preview in Cinema MoCap, you're limited to only using the supplied model at the moment. It's, we've gotten that request a lot, so something to keep an eye out for. Am I able to touch up the animations I make with Cinema MoCap in Blender or Maya? So what's cool about Cinema MoCap is that it actually outputs an FBX compatible Collada file. So you can take the FBX Cinema MoCap spits out um, bring it into Maya or Blender or what have you, and you can actually tweak the animation to your heart's content. One of the things on our roadmap for Cinema MoCap is bringing over the uh, Curve Editor tool from Director and implementing it right into MoCap so you can edit curves right in there. So that would be a cool feature. What about Mac OS X support? Well, unfortunately, the official SDK for Connect V1 and V2 only supports Windows, so, um, our hands are kind of tied there, 
OpenNI, that open source SDK I mentioned before, actually did have a Mac version. So that would have worked. Um, problem was, it was majorly contributed to by a company called PrimeSense, who actually did the hardware development for Microsoft under contract for the original Kinect. Unfortunately, in March of last year, PrimeSense was bought out by Apple, and Apple closed off all of their technology for OpenNI, so OpenNI had to kind of shut down when Apple bought PrimeSense, if, uh, if that kind of makes sense. So sort of ironically, the reason Cinema MoCap can't support OS X is because Apple bought the Kinect guys. Pretty weird, right? But it's just the way it works sometimes. Alright, that's about it for the Cinema MoCap FAQ. If you have any uh, additional questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See ya.